Stretch, y'all. Welcome to Harmontown. How are you feeling tonight? You look gorgeous. Let them hear you at home. How are you feeling tonight? Excellent. We're so very happy to be here. It's so good to see all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Game Master, King of All Kings, Spencer Crittenden! Yes! Yes! I have the unique and special honor of bringing to you now two-time Emmy winner, Bless you, Rick and Morty. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Yo, yeah, grab, yo, grab to the beat, yo, grab, grab, yeah, 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 grab to the beat, grab to the rhymes, grab to your mama's booty, wind chimes blowing in the wind, ringing around. I fucked her so hard, I bought her by the pound. Went to the deli, got three ounces. Fucked your mama like a lion, pounces Ouch. on that pussy. Nine to five. Fucked your mama just to stay alive. I'm a vampire. I gotta suck your mama. <sighs> Osama. Knock it down. Knock your mama's pussy down. Where was building seven? Okay. <laughs> and you notice your your did you know your mama's pussy does not its boiling point is less than steel? What? <laughs> Just start asking questions, America. Stop, you fucking sheeple. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, well, we had our 300th episode. It was the last thing we did, right? And I, I watched that clip of me trying to learn from open mic. We did I, an episode I, after that. Oh, did we? <laughs> I just, I don't know why I can't learn things. Because <laughs> yeah, you have to remember shit to learn. <laughs> that's, that's the, you could be a really time. hard worker, and uh, it wouldn't matter if you're an alcoholic. I mean, just, uh, God, I've been to the crossroads eight times. When are we going to learn the blues? Uh, you, you keep drinking too much. Uh, Ralph Macchio in the movie Crossroads. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I, 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 obviously, I, uh, yes, I do, yes, I do have a story from, from, uh, from, from Emmy night that I don't think will get me in any trouble. Did um, you, you were at the Emmys? I was at the Emmys and I won an Emmy. We all, yeah! obviously, and what I mean is when I say I, I mean, I mean the show that I work on, but like, where are the, you know, it's me, it's, this show is about me. I won an Emmy. Right, right. But in mixed company, I'd be like, you know who won an Emmy is Sid in marketing. Right, right. Remember when they marketed Rick and Morty successfully? Yeah. On that fateful day? Yeah. Well, Thank you, is. Sid. It is an award for everybody. So but, you were saying... Uh, well, I ha I do have I, I I look here the the craziest fucking thing I, I uh, so we we maybe I oversold it by saying that because it's also like insidiously not crazy it was just this odd thing or maybe I'm listening to too many of these like creepy pasta podcasts where there's just like these little stories about little shit where you encounter like you accidentally like open this Lovecraftian <laughs> advent window on the calendar of your monotonous life and then oh I rode the subway wrong and then the people had tentacles and Slender Man was like what well, next stop I have no face um <laughs> And then, and then you, but then you went back and you're like, never touch an elevator wrong. Um, Are you gonna tell the Emmy story in a crazy Canadian voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I don't want to pimp you. One of the you. things I like to do is go to the Emmy Awards. Um, <laughs> Uh, it, 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 so we, it, it, you, you, you get sat in, uh, you know, with your peeps, like, so, like, it's a big production. We got like basically a full row in this auditorium is sort of like, you look down the, the row and you're seeing people that you worked with and that are there tonight for, that are on the show. And, but that's not, you know, you don't recognize it. It's an entire row, so that's not necessarily a thing that you're conscious of. So then, so Justin, because he's the cool one, shows up last. And uh, like I had been uh, sitting there with Cody, and then like there's another row behind us, and Ryan Ridley's back there, and uh, it's like uh, it's people like it, it, you know there's another whole row behind us, and uh, people are chatting, and 
uh, things, and, and the theater slowly fills up, and Justin's, like, rolling in with his girlfriend, like, really close to just, like, the lights are going down, and they're going to, a guy comes out, and he explains, uh, your acceptance speech has to be this long, and when you, if I do this, you got to do this, or whatever, and it's, like, not a big deal, but it's, it like, J Justin's, like, standing in the aisle, and he's got, and his date, and, and it's, like, he's, like, making this gesture, and we finally realize, oh, shit, we look at the row, and there's, there's one seat empty. And he's standing there with his date, and he's going like, I, ugh. you know, he's like making this, because we're all having to be hushed now. And he's like, I don't, I don't, I don't. And, and we're like, oh, God, what, what, what? there's one seat open. And so then this like, kind of flurry of this panic starts to happen. We're like, what, what, what could possibly go wrong? So the, I don't know when to reveal that this whole time in this story, there's this guy sitting there that is alone and is not does not work on the show and is <laughs> and is just sort of like he looks like I, you know he look, if I was casting this movie he would <laughs> I would cast him I would cast Jolo Trulio as yes. uh, as this guy he was he was he was he was he was he was an attractive uh, uh, man in a in a in a in a respectfully diminutive package that's yes. sort of like. It's like he's not he's not a big bruiser. He's not a he's not a he's not a basketball player. It's like he's like kind of like here I am. I'm this guy. I got I, I got my frame and I'm occupying my space. And he looked good in his suit. And and he was he was sitting there when I got there. And I got there, you know, pretty early. And it was like the, the theater was like filling up. And he was just sitting there. So, like, who is gonna? There's there's a guy. Justin's going like. What do I, I don't know. And so then obviously the first thing everybody that's, you know, like me is going to go like, okay, this must be my fault. I'm going to look at my ticket. I'm going to, and, and, and I look and I go, oh, see, and Cody's like, see, you're in the 315 and look where you're, st and I'm in three, I don't know, 13 or something yeah. like that. And she's like, and I'm in 314. And then this, this Joel Trulio guy is like next to her. And it was like, and we're like, okay, all right. Well, it's, and the guy is like, He's not not participating in it. He's not with anybody. He's not distracted. He's just sort of watching it all unfold. <laughs> He's just going like like uh huh yeah. And then and then and then and then we and then we go. So we find, like I go three fifteen. And then Cody like it's like I'm standing in three thirteen. She's standing in three fourteen. So like already you know we're not we're, but we're still erring on the side of caution by going. So Cody goes. Sorry, what what seat are you in? Damn. And he's been watching, and 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 and, 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 he, and he like and he looks down between his legs, and he looks where the the seat thing is, because he to, and he's, he's like three fifteen, and uh, and we're like okay, well, I, but also that doesn't explain like just him being in the wrong seat doesn't explain anything, but him not su not, not supposed to be there ring is would yeah. explain everything. Yeah. It would explain he everything. He didn't show you a ticket. He if he was said, an alien, it would explain everything yeah. because then there would be exactly two seats that are yeah. there are the two people that are there in the full row. But no one's going there in their head. Everyone's just like, oh, uh, okay, so and it's like, like clear, like I'm swear, I'm telling you, like he's not being passive aggressive, like ignoring us. Like he's sort of like fascinated by what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's, like, he's, he's kind of helping out a little bit. I, it's it's kind of hard to describe. Sorry, I'm spilling my drink everywhere. But like he, he he's 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 like he's sort of like involved. He is like he was. It was I I, I I'm judging too much. But I'm analyzing too much during the story because I I'd like to, to analyze it forever after the story. But but a footnote here is my, looking back on it, my perception is that his goal was to fucking blend, uh, and you don't blend by just ignoring everyone. True. You blend, he, he also was like, like, like uh-huh, like, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, like, 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 he was like, he was part of the fracas. Yeah. He was yeah. like helping out, and at one point, and he goes like, like, and then he goes, I'm sorry, can we, and he goes, you wanna switch seats? <laughs> and he gets up, and he switches seats with me, 
which just skirts the issue. It's just yeah. fucking, he's like, he's like, cause it gets, it gets me in the right seat and look, we're all fuck ups here. I'm a, I've been sitting in 313 my whole life and I'm 315, Who's, who are we gonna judge right now? And he's like, like, so I'm switching seats with this guy and then he plops down on the thing and it just continue, it keeps mounting because it's like, there's this, like, you know, it's a situation where there's no authority really. Like right. it's not like a, like a theater where you're like, I'm gonna go get the kid with the flashlight, you know, like I'm, I'm put an end to all this shenanigans someone's god damn it uh it, it, it's like it's a too big a theater and the timing's wrong and the anxiety's wrong like that you, you don't you don't do that here it feels like you don't know what to do and so because no one knows what to do but the urgency is is keeps heightening something happens and something just snaps and i th that's the part of the story i don't really know because somewhere over there where this guy this guy has switched seats with me Somebody finally has an exchange with him uh, that very quickly gets resolved, and he goes like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then he just <laughs> he starts leaving, and then we're like, and then like then Justin and and and, and Ozzy are gonna go like sit down now, and and in the wake of it, we're like, okay, cool, I'll go. What the fuck? <laughs> and then and then the person that was over there that had had the immediate schedule was like, he said he was a seat filler. Um, no, the, I don't know I, no. what I don't know. No. Someone has misinterpreted that yeah. job description. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ain't no volunteer seat filler. So I'm, I'm like, I'm like, so, so a couple, like, a couple of the, tr the, the, the logic tree branches here. I'm like, like, okay, world's most like dedicated seat filler. <laughs> Paul Blart seat filler, like that's the bit. Is like I'm gonna. I was born to fill seats. I'm gonna. Fi My mom always said never leave a seat unfilled. Like it's just some perversion of a seat. But that doesn't exist. That's not. That's not real. Um, uh, th then a cousin of that theory is I just picture the guy like it's some. There's like seat filler culture where the guy's like, you ever hear of Dale uh, Shannon man? No, D Dale. What? Uh, <clears throat> season three of Nash Bridges. Uh, Golden Globes. Jeremy seat fills next to Melanie Griffith. Yeah. Don Johnson's in the bathroom. Food poisoning. Oh. Jeremy ends up going to the governor's ball with Mel. Now he calls her Mel. You know why? He became an associate producer the next, the following week. Like, I don't, it's like, 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 like these stories where you go, like, you know, Bruce Willis was a bartender and then he, like, he said, uh, uh, come out to the coast, have a few laughs while he was making a drink. And someone was like, say that again. But now say it in an air vent. Uh, okay, now be on moonlighting for eight years, and then uh, some Seagram's golden wine coolers, and that. I'm gonna, I swear, I got, I got, I see you in an air vent, baby, saying that. Like, we get, we get, you know, Hollywood is high stakes and like crazy stories, and like where the. That, we that should was just find the dude that asked him to play harmonica and stab him in his face. So that the guy might have been. <laughs> the guy might have been, and then someone made the joke that was like when Justin rolled up that the guy was like, yeah, nice try, rookie seat filler. Hilarious. <laughs> because he looked at Justin and he's like, yeah, yeah, nice. And we were laughing about that. But here's, here's what I, I swear, it's rare that I, I genuinely believe the crazier, more Art Bell thing. I, 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 I don't think that any of that stuff explains it. I don't, I don't believe that he was a seat filler explains the thing. I think that he may or may not have technically been one, but more importantly, he was part of a fucking crazy, like weird thing that 10 years from now, there'll be a Netflix documentary, of, <laughs> not just about him, it won't be like the seat stealer. It, uh, it'll, it'll be called like seat stealers. Like, and it'll be about the fact that like, there's like five or six people that know <laughs> The, the, the guy, like, and then, and then everyone, every, every award show, there's always like a big uh, thing where like there's 60 people on stage. I always go up for that. I, like they, they, they would go Hilarious. up because there was like this thing where they had all the Star Trek people come out and they're just talking about Star Trek for like what seemed like, like uh, star dates. Um, <laughs> and, and I was just thinking like, yeah, if that, if that guy could have just wandered up there and like stood next to LeVar Burton and been like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Like, 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 and it's, it's like, like, what an art that would be. But not if you did it once, but if you did it 20 times over 20 years. I just, you just decided, like, I'm going to do it till I get caught. And then if I get caught, then I'm going to just, like, see what I can do. Like, I'll request all the footage and I'll piece something together. I just, it's like, 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 this is art or something. He just had this look on his face. I look back and I'm like, I, we met a gremlin. We met a unicorn. Close. We, 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 we brushed like, like with like, like some, like, like, like something real, something mythical. I, I wish he would try that shit at the BET Awards. <laughs> God, I mean, what if he did? What if he did? And he they were feeling like, what if he came on the show and he was like, yeah, oh yeah, nice. Like roll a clip. And I was like, all the more. And he was like, oh, of course there's like one like white dude there and there's like little navy blue coat. Like, of course. Um, anyway, it just makes sense to everyone. It's just like this Zelig, you know, thing. Like, like, would be, yeah, I, I, he, that guy, boy, he did not want to stop filling that seat. Yeah, I and uh, I think that he fascinates you because you have a thing, perhaps, uh, as I do, which is uh, you wonder how someone uh, takes, the, they get those balls. How do you get the balls to sit there yeah. and, and enter, you know, entertain the idea that you might get thrown out, yeah. but that you might surf? So and that entwines with your fraud complex, which is like, Oh, uh, you know, why am I better than a seat filler? Or the, you know, of course, you're gonna, your mind's gonna go there when it's like that. We like any place where there's class is Im imputed. What, I don't know. That's not the word. Uh, implied. Um, like your head immediately goes. Why, well, what am I doing here? What am I? Right. Uh, and and then, so then you think, and then that, that, that yeah, I, I, it's it's both of those things. It's like, like what? Like how how can you fucking? So if you got, if you if you were. It's like, would I? Would I? And didn't yeah. I? Yeah. I did. Yeah. That's all I did. <laughs> it's Just fill the seat. <laughs> also, you, you do, you kind of, it resets you. Like you said, you go, Jesus Christ, we're in the same space right now. Yours is a uh, fraud in that you're not supposed to be so here. So is mine. And yeah. so is mine. Yeah. <laughs> and, you got, and you have like some like, like quirky in 90s indie movie thing where like, uh, like I'm going to give you this, my dead father's watch. Yeah. When it stops ticking, you and I trade back or whatever. <laughs> like, like, it's just like sliding doors thing, or like I I keep filling the seat, or 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 like D Donald Sutherland comes down with a popcorn cart and he's like, like there's like a seat filler coupon, but it's magic, and like so like I and I'm like being obnoxious and doing coke and going like at least I'm not a seat filler. I'll tell you what, I wish. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could fill his seat just to show him how much more I'd do with it. <laughs> Yo, Sutherland, popcorn! Uh, here you go. I'm from Maine. It's lightning. Wow, wow, wow. Are you referencing the Marsha Mason movie? I, do, I don't know what movie I'm... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's the Jason Robarts comes to town. Oh, and oh. Then, well, Jason Robarts, you mean Dream a Little Dream? Is that what it was called? No, it's this, uh, uh, it's a single mother. She's got a son, oh. Mr. Dynamite or something like Mr. that. Mr. Dynamite. Fantastic. He comes to town and he changes this woman's life. He's a millionaire. It's ages old, but it's oh. very similar. Oh, no, I d I'm not familiar with this. I thought you were talking about, like, because we I was vaguely alluding to body swapping things. Did you see the thing with him and Corey Feldman? No, but apparently a lot of movies share the same plot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually... Magic abounds. All right. Well, let's 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 bring out Rob Schraub. Yeah. Oh, ladies oh, and gentlemen, yeah. back from a season of championships, we welcome the wonderful Rob Schraub, ladies and gentlemen, Rob Schraub. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Hello? What did we do during the show after the 300th one? I, I was, uh, oh, you weren't I don't know. Here. I wasn't here. Are you talking to me? Anyone that was here? I don't know. Shrab wasn't here. So good thing you brought me out. <laughs> <laughs> I was just lying. Shrab was here. Hey, read you a, uh, a quick... Uh, this is from, it's a, like, okay, you won an Emmy. Maybe it's, maybe for one hour, it's safe to click your name. 
I go, they, I, I get, I get, a, you get emails from the publicity firm. They go like, oh, uh, press roundup or whatever, and they even vet them for like, you know, they're not gonna like, you know, uh, here's here's all of your you being mentioned on the internet, like. They'd lose clients that way. This is the first win for Adult Swim? Oh, shit. Right? Wait. No. Wait. Is this their first Emmy? Adult no. Swim? Well, I don't I don't know about that. I know, I mean, it certainly, it was... It's good to see you too, Dan. <laughs> well, you, 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 you paused, and I had a thing. God damn, okay, here it is. All right, sorry. A lot of that was just, I don't know how to work my phone. You can't do that. You can't come out and then sit for five minutes, and then I'm like, all right, moving on. I'm going to do this thing. And then you're like, well, how do you do? You know, come out with a fucking story about a bear or something, or come out, make yourself at home, and chill. And I'm, I'm not going to tell my uh, thing about my, the thing I got in my phone. That's another way to do it. <laughs> what, 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 oh, you want me to ask you, like, oh, what's been going on? Like a, a host of a show? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Just invite somebody out to have them sit and watch you talk. <laughs> That's it. All right, now let's bill out, bring out Bill Johnson. <laughs> All right, Bill Johnson, sit down. So anyway, I was eating a sandwich. This sandwich is fucking great. I was eating this. Bill Johnson's going, why did, why did I even leave the house? Why did I come here? I don't understand. All right, well, what's new with you? <laughs> and it better be fucking amazing. V vape ad adventures. Oh, okay. Did I'm you... into vapes now as... What? Did you, did you and Spencer... Spencer and I went on a vape adventure. An adventure. A Spencer vape adventure. Um... So hashtag vape culture. Vape culture. <laughs> okay, all right. I. It's, it, I thought I thought it through in my head. I categorized it as not technically a rape joke, but <laughs> right. The customer right. is always right, and uh, let's put, let's keep communicating like yeah, that. Yeah. And I'm fine with it if you are. I, 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 I vetted it. I did not want to hurt anybody. <laughs> the public has spoken. Rhyming counts, and I didn't know it. And I will not make the same mistake again. That, that you know, we're it's a couple feedback. years away from that being on a poster of some DreamWorks. <laughs> like like hey, a meme. Yeah, like a, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Grape course. culture. <laughs> Yeah, the, oh, you! Oh, I didn't know that's what you meant. The Fruit of the Loom movie. Well, I, I mean, yeah, well, yeah like, okay. <laughs> and we're going to be going, oh, grape culture, that sounds familiar. Jesus <laughs> What the fuck? Mommy, why is it that interesting? I don't know. Uh, Who are you? Anyways. Why are you in my car? <laughs> Vape Adventures starring Spencer, Rob, and Kate. So, Spencer... Text me super early in the morning. So early. So like, early. Um, like what? Like 4.15? What? Yeah. No, no, not that early. Actually, I think you, you, uh, you texted me like, like the night before, and I didn't get it until the night of. Oh, right. All yeah. important information. So, uh, you know, you come over, and we go to the, to the magic place where, you know, you get your vape on, mm -hmm. and uh, there's like, there's so much Rick and Morty stuff there, Dan. They got it all hanging out. You should go there. You should go, uh, well. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you got the hanging on the wall, you know. <laughs> they might give you some free shit. Might give you some free shit. Oh, I got uh, the one in me. <laughs> pretty cool you got that one. On the wall. Rob's there. doing a good <laughs> face. <laughs> Pretty cool that you got it on the wall. <laughs> I had something to do with that a little bit. <laughs> Why is he Elvis? Look at this face he's making. Okay. So, anyway, we go in there <laughs> and they set me up with vape. They set Kate and I up with some good vapes. We got some oh. good vapes. Like, we got two different brands. We got, or not flavors. What are they called? Uh, well, the, there's different like varieties of weed that are called brands. Okay, so we got two different brands. <laughs> Go home, and Spencer is like, "All right, this is how you do it." And he said, he tells us how to put the 
battering thing. He's greasing in there. And then like, I got what? Chocolat? What did I get? I think he got chocolate. I got chocolate. Ocelot or something. Choco, chocolat? Choc- chocolat. Th- chocolate. Thai chocolate? Was it Thai yeah, chocolate? Yeah, so I do this. I go, I go, okay, so what is it? Got a button? No, I think you can just, you can just like, you know, you know, suck on it. Mm. <laughs> oh, God, sorry. Everybody give him a second. <laughs> he did say Because you know what else you suck on is dicks and titties. <laughs> All manner of hilarious things. So I go, okay, so how do you do it? You just, just look at, and I went. Because <laughs> I was trying to make. And I wasn't paying attention while I was doing go, it. The light go. Right. Uh, you know, and you so can't I'm see like, the light because it's down I the pipe. I didn't see it right away, so I did it. So, so anyway, he Spencer exhales. turns around and goes, wow, that was. Oh boy, you took a big hit there. I like. And then I was like, yeah, the thing you got to know is like the big hits, you should not, not to hit it like that at first. <laughs> Okay. Don't do that. So I'm like, I don't really feel anything. <laughs> and then I go, Kate, we got to go to cryotherapy right now. Uh, cryotherapy. Cry, is it, am I pronouncing it? Right? No, I assume Cryo- so. Cryo- yeah. Cryotherapy. That's where you get flash frozen. So this is this is. Something. Why did you want to get flash frozen I think you after take you got it. high? I, 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 first of all, baked. are you for real? Did you go to cryotherapy? Yes. Because yeah, you got yeah. too high. Yeah. Well, so no. second of all, then now you have to stop and explain not for yeah. a live audience. He but was going to go anyway. Everybody listening. Well, we were talking about it for a long time. We kept like doing. We were going to do. We, I had the whole day. Just planned. tell him what cryotherapy is. Cryotherapy to... is something that Joel Hodgson told me about. He went on like when we were doing Mystery Science Theater this, this summer. Like after every shoot, he would go, "Hey man, you want to do some cryotherapy? Man, it's pretty cool. You should check it out. It's good for your skin. Help my back. Might get frozen great. while some crazy movies yeah. playing and have some what kinds of stuff to say about you it. Got to do it, man. It's the best, you know. And so, so I. I I never did it, but I, I always wanted to try it. And then, and the thing that I, I, I go, so what do you do? Is, well, you go into this like shower sized room that is like, like lo- lots of degrees below zero. <laughs> and you go in there for three minutes and you do jumping jacks and you get it. And what it does is like it, it makes your body go into this fight or flight mode where everything is on deck going, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? This is, you're trying to kill yourself. This is stupid. And, and it's supposed to like bring, supposed to, you know, be good for your skin, but mostly wake you up and <laughs> make you sleep at night. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's probably stupid, but anyway. How much? How much? Uh, nah. yeah, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How much? I don't know. Kate, How much? Kate did it online. How much? Kate did it online. <laughs> <laughs> it was what, way. What, what's the what's the number that would make you then not go? White people. <laughs> what's a, if it was seven dollars? Would you be like? All right, okay, fine. I would at $7. I'm you like, can okay. freeze me for $7. It's still, it's, it wasn't $7. It's still, it's always going to be white people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just walking into a shower where it's cold, white people. <laughs> Some shit you have in your house. But I, that part, but, but, it, it's but I do believe that it is probably one of those things where it's like, uh, it's $1,000. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, can't, it can't be. Because if, thir- if it's $30, you wouldn't do it, right? Like, you can't, you don't freeze your body, even if it only cost them a nickel, they'd make more money if they charged $90 than 30 because if it's 30, it's like, it's like, I'm not going to have you freeze my body for the price of a transformer. What, how much was it? I, d- I don't, I didn't, I didn't set it up. $179. I was fucking, I was That's my stoned guess. as fuck. And my so, guess is $179. All right, okay, but fine. There's, and there's specials for couples and whatever. So anyway... <laughs> Joe, Joe, uh, Joe is telling me, you, you, you do this, you do this, man, you do it. And they play music, and you dance around there if you want. And I go, <clears throat> do you get to pick the music? Yeah. <laughs> what song did you, did you play, Joel? Tell me. And he's like, he got all bashful, and he goes, do you believe in life after love by, Sh- <laughs> by Cher? Because Joel's a huge Cher fan. 
as we know. We're like he loves share. Like not ironically. Well, I didn't know. I learned from this. You told yeah, me. Yeah. Well, he like, he he goes to share concerts. It's 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 amazing. So I go, Kate, and I'm like, so we go there. Seventy bucks. <laughs> so is it seventy? Seventy yeah. bucks. I think we had a coupon. <laughs> It's like that massage. For thirty money. bucks, I'll rub ice on your head, man. <laughs> I'll make I'll make you feel things deal. and come back. Deal, and... deal. So anyway, we uh, because we're a couple, we can both go in the into the chamber at the same time, and they go, okay, all right, uh, Mr. Scrab and uh, Kate, Kate and <laughs> friend, uh, whatever. You know, we're standing in our underwear. You know, like getting ready to freeze ourselves to death. And and they and he says, "What music do you want to listen to?" And Kate goes, "Money for nothing." <laughs> and I'm like, ah, "No, <laughs> no, we have to do." Do you believe in life after love by Cher? Oh, <laughs> come on. She's like, "All right, sure, fine." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> are fine. you you guys share a thing?" Yeah, you, because we're a couple, we can do that. Okay, you and I can do it next time. Okay. All right. And so we go in there, and the guy goes, yeah, we can play that song. We got Apple, whatever. We put it on, it goes, and it's freezing. And you, you remember being in Wisconsin where you're like, ah, oh, I got to throw out this. I got to let the dog in, whatever. I'm too lazy to put on a jacket or, or a hat or whatever. Mm. It's like that feeling. I remember it totally. Crisp. And it goes, and it's freezing. So the music comes on, and it's the wrong song. <laughs> so everybody, I'm assuming, knows, do you believe in life after love after love? Good song. Good song to jump around like an idiot so you don't freeze to death. Instead, they play, what's the song? I wrote it down. After All by Cher and Peter Cetera, which is this love ba ballad. <laughs> After all, no. after all that we've been through, it's just this. Uh, I will make it up to you. And, then, and we're both going, Dad, God damn it, wrong song, <laughs> banging on the glass, wrong song. And the guy's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's right, like the, right, he's like a carny. He's just like in a booth. I didn't know yeah. there was a guy he could see you. Yeah. You want to go colder? <laughs> It's pretty, it's pretty Are, close to that. Do you all have to get naked for this? No, no, no. But I'm okay. in my underwear. We're both in but my But you're under not wearing pants. Yeah. I mean, you're in your unders. That's not naked. I know, but like, the important answer to your question is this is a ridiculous situation. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, and it, it's much it's much more than a lot of us could get paid seventy dollars to do. I don't I'm not trying to high road this. I don't want to be one of these practical guys. It's like anyway. seventy dollars to be cold. <laughs> I'm not gonna be that guy. Don't. I'm not. You're not allowed. I do crazy shit. You're not I pay, allowed. I pay seventy dollars to uh, 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 simulate uh, uh, living in a post-apocalyptic uh, 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 place in Boston where I spend nine hours a night uh, sorting my living room. Hmm, I, I'll, okay. I'll pay for the high-resolution pack of a video game just so I, the cupboards can look better as I'm like figuring out where to put my duct tape. And my fucking house is falling apart around me. And somebody's like, Wouldn't you, did you put an uh, orange Julius on the dog's head? Yeah, I don't care about life. I'm trying to sort my fallout apartment. <laughs> Anyways, continue. I just wanted to interject it with a little bit of what the people right. really want, which yeah, is yeah. moi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, no matter how okay. much you delude yourself, you know you still got to get a little bit of me in there. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep going. Keep Shot going. They got the what face. they need. Keep going. Okay, so... The, the, the fucking computer system goes, three minutes left. And you're like, oh, <laughs> fuck you. Three we're, minutes? And we're screaming, fuck you, wrong song. Kate and I are both <laughs> going, wrong fucking song. I fucking hate this song. The song made it last like it was eight minutes left. <laughs> it was slow. I mean, at least with an up-tempo song, it, it would feel shorter. It didn't. This was awful. And then we get out, and we go, wrong song! Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. You know, did you just press, like, any share song at random? It doesn't work that way. 
You can, doesn't. You can get out. Did he say... Yeah, were you locked inside? That sounds no, terrifying. No, it wasn't locked, but we committed to it. <laughs> okay, sure. And, and, and... This motherfucker deserved it. And I deserved it. <laughs> Did he pro- say that he would make it up to you? No. He didn't promise to? <laughs> I mean, after all that you'd been through. <laughs> yeah... I don't even remember that song. I don't know that song at all. You're and I love Peter Cetera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play it. I'll play it for you later. And but anyway, through this whole thing, I'm still stoned AF, <laughs> motherfucker. I am stoned as fuck. I'm just like going. I would think this freezing cold sensation would sober me up, but I was fucked up. All day, after we leave, I go, hey, let's go to this restaurant that's right next door. And we, we drove over there. We got to order all this food. I just kept eating, eating, eating. And Kate's like, you're just so, you're such a cliche of shaggy. What are you doing? <laughs> then I w- went home. And then I you know, had to take the dog. I don't remember half the day. I remember doing this a lot on the couch, just laying there. And then I go to take Lolly to the dog groomer to wash the dog, because she's got shit on her butt. And so I take, take the dog over there, and then I was like, I, it's close to where Steve Agee lives, so I go to Steve Agee. I said, hey, can I hang out while my dog's getting her ass washed? If I bring a bunch of ice cream, I bring a bunch of ice cream over to, to, to Steve Agee's house, who, and he was watching the Twilight Zone, and I ate like a whole tub of ice cream, talked over the t- Twilight Zone, and, and he was trying to record a podcast, and then I was like going, hey, my dog's done, talk to you later. I don't think he said anything, and I just left, and I'm just, and then I, I was like, did I come over by your house yesterday and talk over your television show and ate ice cream? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did all of that. Yeah, a lot of people, I'm glad you're not then moving on to try to convince people that you're not having the best life in the world. That's how I'm sure I a had lot a of people fantastic are, day. I think I yeah. would like to spend the day doing that. It was, it was, it was quite good. I, 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 I almost went to do VR, like uh, Star Wars VR. You the, hear about this void? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me tell you something. Uh, did you look at? He came out with notes like a like an alternative comic phone? in San Francisco. <laughs> he's got a, he's got a whole notepad like to put. Here's on the... another question. <laughs> Here's a question. Okay. All right. So you know, I was watching this movie <laughs> with Kate, and it it was like this British movie came out last year. It's like these two old people falling in love and learning how to dance and doing a whatever. I know, it sounds right up your alley. And uh, throw me under the bus. I love feelings. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it was, it was sweet. It was cheesy or whatever. And I was like thinking like, well, there's like this demographic, this about Schmidt, bucket list, Morgan Freeman, you know, Alan Arkin, like... They, you know, it's like the Matlock of movies or whatever, where they go, we're going to go, okay, we're, we're targeting these baby boomers or whatever. You know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, it's, oh. the, uh, it's the uh, something's got to give, the uh, right. Right. Uh, Jackie uh, Nicholson's. Uh, uh, what's, what's, with your, what's with your croissant? Yes. You know, yeah. Kind of like uh, <laughs> yeah. Mickey, Mickey Oldman and uh, he Twinkie, wears a Twinkie Johnson are, you know, but it's like people that we remember as right. Ghostbusters and stuff. Yes. It's really yeah, yeah. sad because yeah, it yeah. reminds Dan us that our own arteries are... Slowly. Well, my my uh, question to you, as a writer and a producer of various things, do you think that when our generation hits <laughs> that, are there going to be more like, more like sci-fi, you know, fantasy stuff featuring old people, or like, is it all like, gonna be, like, like, do we just get Jason to that age? Sudeikis and Allison Brie are fighting an insect monster? Yeah. <laughs> But they're like like, like and walkers yeah, yeah, yeah. because it reminds us of a simpler time. There's some kind of Back to the Future. Just like... shoot them with the ray gun, god damn it! Well, do you love me or not? I don't know. We grew up friends. Choo 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 choo. All I want to do is see my grandchildren on Easter. <laughs> oh. 
Whoa, Jesus, it's Jesus. <laughs> it's not very sci-fi, but, but... How about uh, Kevin Hart in How We Gonna Get Back to Earth? <laughs> 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 or, 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 or when I was your age, Earth was uphill, you know, because it'll be more about, it'll be more like, are we there yet? You know, it won't be, that sounds like that could come out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just for me. I, I, is there like a whole series of how are we going to get back to blanks? Yeah, Tip, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish has, how are we going to get back to Mars? <laughs> how are we going to get back <laughs> the to Kev, <laughs> The Kevin Hart series, <laughs> Kevin Hart 70, and it's, yes, the Ke, how, how are we going to get back to blank <laughs> series? And then it, it gets to the point where it's so oversaturated that, that they ha, the movies have to start becoming like, how are we, how we going to get back to in... Uh, meet the meets Jason Voorhees. I, I don't know. I'm trying. I was trying. I was trying. Like, like, like. I'm trying to think of an example. Like, it's like, like when the. It's like, God damn it. Like, if I wish when we were making First Blood, we had known that we were just making a franchise called Rambo. This is, we made this so confusing. What do you mean, Rambo colon First Blood Part Two? That's so confusing. What are we gonna call the third movie? I got an idea. Yes, Mr. S. Rambo 3. Okay, fine. I, but that's not... I mean, our point is... Your point is, uh, make a third movie. <laughs> but f First Blood Part 2? Look, uh... We could call it Second Blood and just get rid of the last... We could call it The Bloodening. Yeah. And just sort of keep More it blood. going. Call it Second More blood. blood. First Blood? Call it First Blood, Second Blood, Third Blood. You know, they would fucking die to, for oh, the opportunity to do that. They'd make so much money if they would have done oh, that. Oh, God damn it. I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry. Hate, That's I, hate, not I hate that you've taken on this role. Oh, no, I don't. I love it. I love it because uh, it's, I love irony. I love watching you turn into your mother. <laughs> after, after all of these years of friendship, we were like, we, we bonded, our original bond, it was like, you know, we bonded over the fact that we were raised in a culture of, oh, you're in Milwaukee and you got your pacifier in your mouth and you look at a Wrigley's billboard and you're like, how come uh, the billboard makes it look like a gum's a bad idea? And your, and your parents go like, you're talking about it. And we like bonded about it. We're like, yeah, man. And then to get out here and like make stuff. And now look at you, man. You're fucking <laughs> Saruman. <laughs> and I'm Gandalf the White. Damn it. And I'll tell you what, man, put me on the roof of your tower and leave me up there forever while you make uh, new kinds of goblins. I, and, then, and then... Okay, here's another I, thing. I hope you visit me every once in a while, but I'll tell you what, man, there's moths everywhere, <laughs> and they talk to eagles. And I will get out of here, because you should have just killed me. Okay, so... Don't hate the wizard. Hate the yes, weird yep. fucking right. yep. rules. Shit. Yep, yep. Everybody, everybody's against you. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. It's pretty bad. You got You know bad. that's you. You know that guy's you. When Gandalf goes... You, you, when you watched Lord of the Rings, we never talked about it. Why Because when, there... when we watched Grumpy Old Men, we're like, oh, that's you and that's me. Like, like <laughs> when we watched American Splendor, we knew that, you know, you were Crumb and I was uh, the Harvey P. Carr. We, we were like, okay, that's us, yeah. And uh, then, but, uh, you know, we, we never checked in. We never called each other Lord of the Rings. Go, come on, you're Saruman. You're like, when, when fucking Gandalf rides up, he's like, I'm going to go. And the guy's like, G B B don't let me touch that ring. It's so powerful. I'm going to go talk to my friend Saruman about it. He's the best friend I've ever had. I've never trusted anyone in my life. Don't let me touch that ring. I'm so smart about this shit. I'm going to go to the library, look up a couple things. I'm going to go see my roommate from college. I'll tell him everything. I never trusted anybody more in my life. I'm just, I live on a different plane where I know about everything. And it's you. Yeah. And you're like, look into the crystal ball. What do you see? Oh, and it's like, I see it all, because I'm fucking like, because you're, yeah, that's you. I saw, I saw that guy, and I was like, that's Schraub. All right, all right. And I'm the only one that sees it, you know? Yeah. Nobody looks at me and goes, that's Gandalf. But, like, I am like, I'm like, yeah, like, the self-destructiveness, like, you shall not pass. Who does that? Somebody that hates himself. Like, he knows that's a Balrog. He knows he's going to die. But he doesn't care, because he's like, fuck it. You know what? People will feel sorry for me. I'll probably come back to life anyway. <laughs> I get that. Like, it's you how know? white dudes say they love each other. And the way he said, fly you fools, so that people would spend a year trying to figure out whether, what he said. 
because we're like, what? what? Fi, 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 you fool? What? What did he say? <laughs> like, you got to buy, like, special shit to know what he said? Closed That's what captioning. I do. What? You got to buy closed captioning. Yeah. <laughs> but at the root of all that, you're basically saying, I love you, dog. Nah, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, look. Because you went way too deep on that for somebody who's not in love. You can, you can keep chipping away at this theory that I love Rob. Like I, I, I people like to do that. This like theory. <laughs> this uh, concept that you've been coming up with. On now, the Rob. Chalkboard and. Do, Rob, do you have anything <laughs> nice to say to your brother? That's not what the show's about. It's not. It's it not what the show's the show. about. Yeah, I don't want to share this anymore. I, I thought this was funny. Can but I ask you a quick question? Uh, that everyone is uh, probably. Did you call? Oh, I texted. Uh, I texted my parents. Oh. <laughs> you don't know this, but three people in the back just fist bumped. <laughs> uh, I texted them a, a photo of uh, my second Emmy uh, with an arrow pointing at it because there's two of them. <laughs> One must be for humility. Yeah, are, are they <laughs> <laughs> most outstanding use of humility in a straight white male? Uh, that's Does been... uh, the new Emmy look newer than the old one? Do, can you no, see that? No, well, I haven't. I haven't looked that close to him. I was like, like I'm, I'm high on life. Okay. So I texted the photo, and then, uh, and then my mom texted. We just found out late yesterday. Congratulations! I'm very proud of you. And then, uh, and then she said, "Did we ever congratulate you on your 70 episode thing? So cool." And then there was like a pause, and then the last thing was from my mom saying, "You were right. Leave the car where it is," which I assume is just she just. <laughs> Did you text your other dad? As well. Yeah, I did actually. Excellent. Well, yeah, because he he he, he my 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 surrogate father Heath Collins, who is still dad in my phone, texted congratulations, and I was like, thank you, dad. And we actually bonded for a while about it, and yeah, so awesome. it was nice. So actually, awesome. I think we've decided to just role play that now, <laughs> and it's kind of like, 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 yeah, if that works, then that's that should be how it works. Man, you're glowing. You're, <laughs> thank you're you. glowing. Thank you. Very, very happy, aren't All you? All right, let me read you guys this because I want to. Very awesome. happy with yourself. So, like I said, like I was saying earlier, so you go like, okay, well, you know. Why isn't the tongue oh. Oh. considered like more than it is? <laughs> I mean, it's not a limb, but it's like you know, it's a fingernail away from being a mouth finger. You know, like it's, it's. Why is it? Why don't we say That's it's like a, a tongue? The tongue. The tongue. Go way ahead. You were talking, Dan. I. Mouth finger. You can point you need, with it. You can. What you need is somebody to ground you. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, it's. I think we make. She big won't deal come to Harmontown. <laughs> All right, let us have what? it. You know that we're tubes. <laughs> we're like big worms. Yeah. Not me. And that when you eat something, you're just rubbing up against it with the outside of your body that became the inner ring of this like torus shape that's been uh, extruded. Mm, not me, that though. Us, yeah. I, I, that doesn't apply to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's why butt chugging will kill you, kids. Don't do it. You're putting vodka into a hole that is not designed. Butt so don't chugging? Do it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Kids are dying out there. They butt put, chugging. They put funnels in their asses and pour whiskey down and it. And they're dying And then they die. butt chugging. Yeah. yeah. And the ladies with the tampons and the... Uh, ladies and the tampons. They, the vo the, the, Those are the people dumping vodka into your butt? Like, no, do well, I don't know you? if they are. I don't know who's helping we with that. The ladies and the tampons. The vodka soaked tampons is the other thing. Vodka it, soaked tampons. It hits your system quicker because those membranes are more, uh, 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 what, are what, less less selective, I what guess. What fucking Emmy parties were you going to? <laughs> I didn't go. I, I, I didn't go to any. Uh, Neither did I. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, so I, I thought, okay, well, why don't you click on something? And uh, this is not, this is not, I, I just, I thought, I thought. How soon? Was, is this an hour after we're talking? No, I just, I, this is right before I came to the show. Because okay. I was like, I, I went to my email and I was like, 
ah, what's going on? All right, I got to deal with that. Got to deal with that. And then there's, I always get one email from the publicist that's like uh, uh, press roundup, and then I'm like, well, all right. And then I'll just see a bunch of headlines, and I was like, oh, I, I the, the show won an Emmy, so like it's an extra big email. It's all hyperlinked. And they go like, well, top top one is AV Club, and it says Pickle Rick won a fucking Emmy. You know, yeah. it's like which which is more than just like reporting. And I just felt I'm like I'm just gonna I'm gonna look at it, see what the AV Club take yeah. is. Had such a long relationship with with them as a metric of television culture and whatnot. Like let's, let's just read the paragraph there, and it was like you know faithful reporting of the fact and whatever. And then I'm like, God damn it, there's the there's the comment section, and you can just see the top of one, and they have like this interface where you can cl you have to click to uncloak like all of it. And I sure enough, I fucking did, and I just saw this exchange. And this is not this is not about me. Uh, not I, about I you. I thought this was. <laughs> A, I, nothing, I, a, nothing to do with you. This is, no, this is not. It's everything about me. I'm just, but it's not. It's not me going. Uh, you should feel sorry for me because like, that's not what I'm doing. I'm no, like, I won't. Like, 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 I just think this is more like me. Kind of in my mind, this is me dancing on the graves of my enemies, uh, because my enemies are humanity at this point. Okay, so it's a, like, like this is. There's a the top. The, the comment this, that starts it is this guy says. Is that Harmon's first Emmy? Hot take. Oh. I like Dan Harmon. Not just his shows. I root for the guy. Yeah, he slips up and acts like a drunken asshole sometimes. <laughs> he will admit to that and apologize for it and try to learn from it. Harmontown is going strong. 300 episodes in. Well-deserved Emmy win. That could be any of us. It's a weird, weird, it's a weird, weird way to express it, and like I, but we're not going to nitpick any of that. The, then the replies to that, because now we've started a conversation. Let's have it. I mean, whoa, hey, you, let's talk about this. Uh, this is what responds goes. Uh, if he keeps slipping up, then he isn't really. All right, you know what? Why am I? Why am I making this guy have a funny voice? Please let's, do. Let me. Sorry. Because he's an I asshole. I like the voice. Let me make because this guy an James let's, Brolin, and let me just like like. Uh, all right. Let's give him a funny voice. Fuck this dude. James if he, Brolin's good, though. If he keeps slipping up, then he isn't really learning from it, is he? Apologizing is easy. Fixing your shit is the hard part. Oh, God. Says Pimp Hand of Cisco. <laughs> yeah. And then, a, and then a person responds to them. Yes. And says, yeah. This person's responding, and they agree! This is it's a, it's a, like someone saw that and was like, "Yeah, I better get in there because samesies." Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes he strikes me as one of those "just do it and apologize if you get caught" type of guys, and he's just getting better at apologizing. What I think Shrop Here's meant the, what's about society's that. Society's worst nightmare. What if this famous person is in an endless cycle of headlines we're reading? <laughs> what if he just keeps doing things we don't like and then saying he's sorry we didn't like them? Oh my God, someone get a message to this guy before he wastes his life. <laughs> well, obviously it's a joke more for me than you, I guess. I just thought, I just, I guess, I've, I guess I'm the only person that understands what I think funny. there's a lot there. Yeah. It's a lot to unpack. But right. I, 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 sort of. Sort of. I just, I, I just like, can you, I just like, okay, I, 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 you know, uh, yeah, 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 he strikes me as, stop right there. Who types that? He strikes me as, I'm a human being. I strike you as nothing. You don't know me. I, you, he strikes me as, I, he strikes me as a famous person, is what he strikes you as. That's how he's designed to strike you. That's how he will strike you, because he's not your uncle, and right. he's not your babysitter, and That's he's right. not your mailman. So he strikes you as a famous person. No, 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 no. He strikes me as, <laughs> um, he strikes me as the kind of guy. And let me, so, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of different kinds of guys. All right, so let me get this straight. All right, so I'm going to go, hold on. Mr. Whiskers are, meow. Let me good little kitty. You love it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, uh, yeah, this is the city of Waukegan calling. It is an outstanding parking ticket. Oh, a little beep, beep. So, hey, your mother still needs that kidney. I was beep. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, God damn it, it's fucking distractions. Uh, Dan Harmon strikes me <laughs> as the kind of guy. Oh, I think he's just gonna keep on doing things wrong, and then he just is gonna keep on apologizing for them. And I, for one, I, I want no part of it. I don't, I don't want any more part of it. <laughs> I am closing my laptop, but I'm gonna use ghost fingers to check in and see if he breaks that cycle, because only then will he get the ghost reward that I give to people who've become perfect, and by perfect, I mean doing nothing, and therefore not apologizing for it. I hate America. <laughs> hey. And I, but I, 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 I... Also, I, it's not easy to apologize. That sentence sucks. Well, it's, it's, not, a, it's not easy to admit that you make mistakes. It's, especially easy, in a to public say, it's form. easy to say, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, whatever. I, 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 Sit like, your ass down, bro. Sit. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. See? <laughs> How? Um, uh, and what? then you stopped reading, I take it. Yes, I did. Good. At least I got that. At least I did. Like, I think and maybe that's the only kind of improvement you could hope for. 45 years old, three years from retirement. Okay, I got to the point where I only have to read three comments down before I'm like, what are you doing? Take a screenshot and share it with your friends. Uh, I, and, and also that I'm like, yeah. I mean, did my you say new, three years into retirement? Three years, till, three years till retirement. Oh, till retirement. Okay. <sighs> till, yeah, like watch what, me. What are you, uh, you going to do? <laughs> I'm gonna agree. play Minecraft and I'm gonna, gonna just sit around the house and kind of just poke around and you know I'm gonna I'm just gonna sit around and play Minecraft. <laughs> you gonna beat his ass? <laughs> That's the first day of retirement. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. This, this is a story that'll make you feel better. Okay, so this happened to me on Labor Day. Labor Day. So it's Labor Day evening. Labor Day is now Labor Night. And I'm going, I'm walking the dog, I'm walking the dog, I'm walking the dog, I'm walking the dog. The dog starts to, Lolly's taking a shit. All of a sudden, the car drives, stops in the middle of the road, woman gets out, she's uh, you know, she's like, I don't know, maybe, you know, like 50, 55 or whatever. And she, she goes, Oh, 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 oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Do you speak Armenian? Do you speak Armenian? And I'm like, no, I do not speak Armenian. And she goes, uh, uh, and she looks like, oh my gosh, is something wrong? And she's like, oh, my baby fell out or whatever. You know, so she comes over to me, she runs to me, and she's holding like what looks like a gummy bear wrapper. And she's pointing to it, and she's like white as a sheet, like going, please, listen to me. Please listen to me. Just look, look. Honey. You're walking your dog, and the driver stopped. Yeah, okay. and she runs, and she leaves her car, door open. Ding, Whoa. ding, 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 Okay, Michael ding, Winslow. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Doors open, car in the middle of the road, runs up to me while my dog's shitting, and I'm like trying to, you know, split focus. I gotta watch. Why are you fu- <laughs> Never mind. Because <laughs> I gotta pick it up and I don't wanna step on it. Okay, so she comes up Focus. and she's like, oh my God, sir, sir, please, please listen to me. Please look, look, and speaking, look. It's a gummy bear wrapper pointing, honey, honey, Costco, it'll grow back, it'll grow back, it'll grow back. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> She goes, oh. please, please. She's trying to give me this wrapper at Costco. It, honey, it'll grow, it'll grow back. Please, please. And I'm like, I don't need that, madam. Thank you. And she's like, please. Ah. please. And I start getting pissed because <laughs> the, the pleading, the... The, sir, you're bleeding you, right now. You are so bald. You don't understand. You gotta fix this shit. I would it, never fuck you with I my can't uncle's dick. I can't believe it. That you, you're walking outside with this gash across Jesus. your face. 
and I and I'm getting pissed, and I go, I don't need that. I'm happy with what I look like. You can take that back to your car, please, please. And I'm like, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. And she's like, and she's like, goes back to her car. And 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 uh, she's like, still yelling at Costco. It said oh. Costco, driving away. So, wait, no, so when she was saying honey, she was addressing you as honey. I don't know. She wasn't know. telling you to go to Costco and get honey and rub it on your head. Because she I was, was trying confused. to give you an advertisement yeah. for either her or her sister's, like, uh, uh, it, it, I, thing I at Costco. I didn't have my glasses on, and I would not touch that wrapper, but it looked like something she picked off her car floor, and it looked like yeah. a gummy bear wrapper, and she kept pointing at it, saying, honey... Later on, I thought, maybe she's calling me, honey. Like, sweetie, s seriously, we need to talk I, about your problem. I know at people Costco. that work at Costco who don't work for Costco. They work within Costco, and they, and they have it's like the, the whole sub-industry sub, uh, of people with uh, little kiosks inside Costco, right? So they're like, like soak your fingernails in this, and like, I, that lady's, Maybe, uh, yeah. that lady's head was like, she, she, like, like, like I think she's like, look, at, she's like Thanksgiving, I get to tell Rita, I'm from busting my ass for you, like, I, like, like, you know, she's like, I'm fucking, like, my family's gonna uh, succeed because I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna push. I was so stunned because the car stopped. And she flew out. I'm like, okay, <laughs> what adventure am I about to go on to? Like, is this like my baby was hit by a truck? Could you please take me to the thing? Or, you know, I don't know. And I'm like, and then it slowly turns into this. You got a serious problem yeah. up there, buddy. The crazy thing is, how long has she lived in LA? Has she ever seen a bald LAPD officer? And if so, why is she alive? Like yeah. she, if she jumps out of cars and charges ah, people ah, with ah. an unknown object in her hands, saying like like like, please, like, please. like I mean she sh like like statistically should be dead. Now by this now. is this is this is this is not necessarily like a, a it's more of a tag than anything, but I, and then I go home and I I ordered I had ordered pizza. And I get back in, and I'm like, I don't need a gummy bear on my. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm all pissed off, and I'm, you know, like, this isn't fair. People shouldn't talk to other people like that. It's like, and then ding dong, the pizza's here. I go downstairs now. I don't know if this is related at all, or it was a weird night, whatever. Uh, but the pizza place that I order from. It's always the same guy that delivers the pizza. And he's an Armenian guy, and he's like, oh, oh, pizza boy, pizza boy, pizza boy, good, oh, good, hot, delicious. And he's bald, you know? He's like, you know, shaved hair. You know, this time I go down, and he's wearing a wig <laughs> and <laughs> sunglasses. And <laughs> I, I, you know, walked down there, and I looked at it, and I smiled, thinking like, Oh, it's Labor Day. He's gonna be dressing up like oh, it's, Bruce it's, Lee. It's, 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 it's Burt Reynolds. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a Burt Reynolds party. He's yeah, going yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> and as I and I'm smiling and I'm nodding, going ah, oh, <laughs> and I'm getting closer and closer. That's not a Halloween wig. That's a real toupee wig. And uh, <laughs> and then I'm just like I had to hold the face. All right. Because if say, I dropped it, he would have. That you can tell it's not real. And that, in combination with the encounter with that woman, it's, like made you feel like all like, Armenians Jesus Christ. hate bald people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was like, or my like, wife see you walking. Try give you yeah. stuff that work for me. Look head of hair. <laughs> well, I told you about. I had an Armenian doctor that you know when I had my ass problem. Man, don't, was, don't get us in trouble with the Kardashians and this motherfucker. <laughs> and he, you know, he, and, and then he, he, he one point said, oh, you need, you need hair plugs. And I was like, I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't need them. And he goes, he goes, here, let me give you some advice. <laughs> Eat what you want to feel good for you. Look how everybody else wants you to look. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and I went, that is the worst think, advice I've ever heard. I'm never I, I think Woodsy Owl said that, didn't yeah. he? Uh, it was our Captain Planet, Put I think, was that. Put that on a t shirt. <laughs> I was like, Damn. get the fuck out of here. 
Get the fuck out of your own That's office. It's a Billy Crystal character. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what the hell are you Your talking? lungs are so healthy, but so fat. Yeah. <laughs> so fat. <laughs> People just like having stuff to talk about, I think. And it's like, oh, yeah, you're bald. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Here's the thing when you're bald, you forget. Yeah. You forget. You forget until somebody goes, <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what you're right. forgetting is the thing that you should forget, which it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's a th- like, not to bald explain to you, but it's like, <laughs> it's like, I, I, it's like, you, what you're being reminded of is that you're being, uh, that it's their, their their perception. It's only their opinion of right. you. It's a, it's a, it's is nothing to do. I mean, I I know this is all a big dodoy, like like like, but it's you know, in this last couple of years has been. <laughs> I mean, for you, I've known you since college, and you were you started losing your hair in college, and as long as I've known you, I've always nineteen. I've always been like, oh, I have this friend who like like has this different take on like you know, it, it's like it, it's like we have these opinions about hair loss and all this stuff and we don't they're all unconscious and all this stuff but it, 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 it now I'm thinning and back and I'm like I've got I've got my hymns my for hymns for hymns.com for hymns.com like kit because they're a sponsor sometimes I and don't I, support those guys <laughs> hey come on man that's not uh, snake oil they're real prescriptions that a real doctor prescribes hey hymns hymns if you're listening to me you know uh, alright give it to make grow my hair back well, grow my hair back. Yeah. Grow my hair back. If you grow my hair back, I'll give you five million dollars. What <laughs> for hair? White people. In cr- cryo <laughs> therapeutic <laughs> sessions in minutes. It's crazy the things that we say to each other and say to ourselves. I I know it's like, like I'm not. I I just like I'm. I kind of just because of the age we're living in now, where everybody's getting in trouble for everything, which you could just cynically go like, ah, "I've had it," and I have had it, but also <laughs> it also just makes me think about everything that's said and everything we're saying to each other and all that stuff. But it's like giving it's like even my own body, the things that I tell myself when I look in the mirror, let alone like just like. Yeah, it's it's weird. Like it 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 like I don't know. Like like why am I trying to act like that's a big point that I'm making? Is this like, it new, is weird. Is this a new shirt? Is this shirt new? It's probably I, it's probably old. I probably I'm going through the closet and I'm like I I, I have I have had you know you, you, like like guys maybe uh, back me up. Guys with fluctuating weight, you get a shirt where the buttons are popping and you you don't you don't put it in the Goodwill bag right away like you not if you're fluctuating weight like you take it and you look at it and you go I'll be back motherfucker <laughs> and you and 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 then slowly over the years because you keep getting fatter either your weight, your weight fluctuates but you keep getting fatter so if you're lucky enough to have a big enough closet like you start to the overall effect is a large library of shirts that <laughs> never fit you for various reasons and it 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 like every morning I like I I have like a ten minute like pad that I have to give myself because I'm like going through and going oh yeah what's your name when did we meet last <laughs> all right all right Paul time to take another ride around the fucking block and then I'm like okay still won't work that's fine <laughs> put it back I'll also just like I'll throw them like angrily like so then the like <laughs> they can go through the wash and probably get uh, smaller but. <laughs> <laughs> I think I assume this is one of those, or maybe it's a, a well a well bought um, uh, well, Bombfell shirt from Bombfell.com. Hey kids, do you want a box of shit? To you know what I heard on a podcast. <laughs> I the, 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 like well yeah here's a here's a here's a generic ad if you want a personalized ad for your your company hey uh, 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 if you like this show then you know like me what it's like to not have a box of shit delivered to your house um, the people at uh, boxofshit.com um, believe that shit should come in boxes to your house. Whereas they used to not be able to because the fucking infrastructure's changed. So, like, look, we're here today. We might be gone tomorrow. We don't know. It's all up to you. Go to fucking Harmontown. There's a limited offer for our listeners. Go to Box of Fucking Shit's going to come to your house. And, and some of the shit's just like, we're like, oh, my God, of course. Thank God. Like, and, and we don't know. You get a sprinkle box of shit companies over the top of everything and see what takes.
Sure. <laughs> like, box of cat toys didn't work. We, right. like, look, Mike, maybe my cat hasn't been special this month. I don't want to give it another fucking box of toys. Fuck you. But, yeah, the, uh, the beer of the month box. You know, Warby Parker. I think it was, people are like, you know what fucking sucks is like, like shopping for glasses or whatever. I, uh, yeah, it's like you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta test it all. Maybe your toothbrush. I don't know. Maybe your foot. I, I uh, hey, want a new foot? Hey, it's me, your foot. What, is, what, what, what are you going to store for your foot? There's a box of foot.com comes wow. to your house. Of, <laughs> you get a foot, whatever, there's a left foot or a right foot. You go to your door, there's always a foot. You have a subscription to a foot. You can rate it, subscribe to it. You can like it. You can <laughs> put your foot on YouTube, share it with your friends. You can uh, Slender Man, you can eat your foot. You can uh, tell it to uh, 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 a horror, horror movie a week. Or, uh, uh, a Hannibal Lecter-esque character will walk you through which foot you should have. Um, the, uh, what was I going to say? I forgot. The, uh, <laughs> I was listening to a podcast. It was my first, br- I was like, that's irresponsible. Um, like, like, cause we're in this wild west with podcast advertising and there's this true crime thing I was listening to. Uh, I think it was, uh, it's, it, it cause it's just a, I think it was a popular one. Dr. Death. Are you guys listening to Dr. Death? No? Okay. Whoa. Well, I, I, then, then good, then I'm uh, Prometheus. Listen to it. Uh, I think it's only three episodes in. It's like a Syria. It's one of those oh, wow. things. It's like very, like Dirty John. You know, listen to Dirty John. It's like oh, just man. Sort of like, they break up Check like a out. very Dirty curious John? Case yeah, listen to Dirty John. Holy into shit. Into a bunch of episodes. And this, this guy was like doctor who's not, he's not necessarily just a sociopath who pretended to be a doctor, but then again, he was never a good doctor, but he just kind of bluffed his way through the medical system it was like gouging out people's spines and like uh, very interesting and uh, and, 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 and like early on in the podcast the guy goes like and then his, and then he gouged out this spine and then the person's <laughs> leg turned blue and then they had a stroke and now they're dead and it's like um, if you if you, and then he's pause there's this pause and then the same voice says uh, uh, this podcast may be making you feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> Um, but nothing is more comfortable than a good pair of socks. <laughs> it, like, it was basically that, and I was like, I, I was aroused from my bed. I was like, Cody, that's wrong. Yeah. I, 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 like, like, yeah. That's not right. Yeah. You, you're, like, like, they actually found, in a, in a, in a, like, 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 in a world where no one cares, like, there's something fundamentally wrong about that. I can't, I, like, like, where you're like, it's back to the 30s or something, where you're just like, you can just now get really like, hey, it's a, like this podcast is going to offend you, uh, or or it's going to raise your awareness of of the civil rights era uh, as we as we go, go back in time to the 1960s. But you know what? It'll take you back in time more is like a, a, a Reese's uh, kiss. I, 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 that's fine, right? Because it's like, who cares? It's just like a segue. But why did why was I offended by the socks making you comfortable? Oh, it was because like what if he said because there's, there's that podcast uh, uh, advertiser that's like the uh, real time shrinky dink like they, like you can like call a number and have a shrink you know yeah. it's like uh, feel 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 fine dot, dot org or whatever uh, like like you can it's like uh, you know clear 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 t- fun talk like talk to a, somebody it's like don't don't kill yourself like talk to this thing and and, and uh, they let true crime podcast will advertise it but like what if what if he used that say it was like this is going to make you uncomfortable talking about this guy gouging out spines because he's not a good doctor and like like hey maybe you'll be next um, if that upsets you you should call this company <laughs> That profits every time you're freaked out and you call the number. Uh, I guess that's what I was thinking is like, like that's what triggered me in me. It was like, you can't make people uncomfortable and then tell them that socks will help. <laughs> it hasn't worked that way in years. Are you t- are that's you- dangerous. That's like a... It's like a hamster wheel of necessity. You can't, yeah, you can't be like, if you're listening to this podcast, you might, you, you currently might be afraid of leaving your home uh, you should buy a, t- a new television. Okay, I guess that's what we do. Okay. It's fucked up. That's exactly what they do, though. <laughs> that's why you see Taco Bell commercials at like one o'clock in the morning telling you that you should combo meal their shit because they know you're stuck. Yeah, I know that. So why did I? So what was it about the sock thing? I guess it was because you like po- that segue. It was because podcasting for me is like a little bit. It's it's both sacred and unsacred. It's sort of like I feel like Al Swearingen looking at his window in Deadwood, going like, "God damn telephone wires, <laughs> suck my dick," you know, like. <laughs> I'm gonna stab an Indian in the stomach because I have, oh, oh, this, like, like, and I'm just like, oh, all the fucking senators here, fuck it, I'm gonna fuck everybody. Also, there's, there's got to be a little bit of love for something that's kind of hard to do. 
So maybe there's a little bit of admiration in there because it, it, it's, a, it's a corny segue, but that motherfucker went for it. I always thought the podcast business was going to go like, okay, everybody, everybody spread out and say whatever the fuck you can think to say to make people listen to you. And then after we do that for a while, let's slowly coalesce into networks and then let's have those networks uh, uh, engage in collective bargaining with uh, a newly uh, <laughs> subjugated corporate clientele. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. What is it instead? I don't know. It's just advertisers. It. Yeah, it's just like, it was just, it was just more like somebody else thought that that was like me, but instead of a guy that likes to talk into a microphone, that person loves advertising, and was like, hey, I tell you what, why don't we? I, I belong to this agency that they, there's like agencies rounding up the the corporate clientele that are willing to advertise on yeah. podcasts which yeah. are more high risk for them pr wise maybe you know it's a wild west kind of thing so you you notice the kind of clientele you're getting it's like it's the kind that your brain goes oh yeah they don't risk anything like mm -hmm. snickers isn't advertising during podcasts yet right and uh yeah so it's, it's like somebody went around and gathered all those people up into families and then they collectively bargained like hey with what the fuck's your podcast about? What, you fucking getting high and watching movies? Yes, yeah, so's everybody's. Come on, what do you got for us? <laughs> uh, well, I promise I'll tell everybody I'll wear your socks for a dollar. <laughs> I didn't want it to go that way. <laughs> There's something worse than just podcast advertising about, like, true crime podcast advertising, though, isn't there? It's like, and then... Like her blood was spread like everywhere, yeah. and no one could find most of it. Also, tied gum. Yeah. It's gum now. Um, it's hilarious. Tied gum. <laughs> tied, tied hilarious. gum? It's gum yeah. now. It's gum Spit now. on your friends and clean their shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Should have told Just you that chew last the week. Gum. Your, clean, your clothes get cleaner as yeah. you wear them. It's gum now. <laughs> it just seems gruesome to be all like, yeah, man, fucking buy this because. All these people died. Have because the body the was thing? wrapped I mean, in a soft blanket from Downey. Is that what we're worried about? If he was using the gravity blanket. There was a pretty fun, sophisticated, like, uh, oh, first people to do it in a comprehensive way, like, uh, podcast spoof. That was, uh, like, a, uh, it was a spoof of the podcast that I poked a little fun of on, on here a while back about the, I don't know, it was, like, done, disappeared, or gone, up what, and vanished. What, what podcast? Up and Vanished, I think, is the, the the real one, right? And then someone did a spoof of Up and Fa Vanished that I think was called Done Disappeared. And uh, if you ha if you haven't heard it, I, I it's it's really funny, and it's also like sociologically uh, edifying because uh, you, you're like you're living in the beginning of a new medium, and like, this is like one of the first like actual like kind of. Yankovicings, <laughs> like of another, it's like oh, this popular podcast, and then someone not only just sat there like me and went like, hey, you heard this one? Well, this guy needs to get a fucking haircut. <laughs> uh, you know, somebody, somebody like dug in and like did a spoof, and I'm fascinated by that stuff too as we're watching it evolve. Why do mm. I have to try to take the fun out of everything? Mm. But I, I remember when I was like in my twenties, like 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 I got I got high with you and uh, Sean McKenna, and we were talking about something, and then like. I was, you guys were talking about like songs or something, and then I was like, yeah, it's funny because you listen to a first song, but then you listen, and they talked for a while, and then there was a big pause, and then you and Sean both went like, oh, is that how we enjoy things? <laughs> Thanks. We, we said that in unison. You we basically, both, we both went, like you both, you both, you. Well, I mean, worse than that, it was like, I, I was. Is that's it possible thing. that Sean just said that? No, it's and not. I was you're, just sitting you're getting next me to wrong. Him? I know. I was being. No, that's exactly. I don't remember I, this story because that you've it been was so empirical. Caring it was so. Since like, you guys you were both 19. looked at each other and both had the same thought and uh, and didn't even need to uh, 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 conspire about it. That's and I was like, you know, the old saying: if somebody calls you a horse's ass. Maybe they're a horse's ass. If two people call you a horse's ass, maybe get a saddle or whatever it goes. Uh, like, like, like it was like you guys were both like. I, was like, I, I just finished explaining. I was just like, I'm always explaining everything. I'm a fucking explainaholic. Or, uh, or uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's it. That was the word. Yeah. <laughs> can I? Uh, but with booze. Can I ask? <laughs> it's a Simpsons joke. I guess. That's what I was gonna ask you. That's so hilarious. Is you beat beat in quotes. Oh my god, we beat the Simpsons! You beat the Simpsons. <laughs> and you Those beat guys are so amazing. And you like, beat like, South uh, Park. Yeah. And that's pretty fucking amazing. Yeah. 
How does that feel? How does that feel? Feel, feel like, like there's no. Right, how does that feel, huh? That's a, I you feel, happy uh, for uh, once? Uh, humbling. Humbling. Yeah. There we go. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Fuck sorry. That. No, no, Deliver really? Deliver me. Does it feel humbling? Because it feels badass. It does feel a little badass. Feels badass. I, 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 uh, what I'm impressed, uh, those, those guys, those colleagues, like they come up to you, you're all at the same party, you know, and it's like, it is. It really is like I, I, you know, you get jaded and you go, oh, you know, you're never gonna win this fucking thing because it's like, and you, you, because it's huge competition. And then there's always like people. That's all we, that's all we talk about. Like, Did you give a speech? No, ju- ju- you get 30 seconds, Justin. Ju- what did Justin go? He goes, I want to thank everyone. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you for this award for Rick and Morty. Morty, oh my God. thank you. Oh my God. Thank you for this Emmy. This Emmy's great. Thank you for the Emmy, Emmy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They drag him off. Thank you. We're playing the music. I don't know. I uh, just, Justin Justin went from saying whatever he said to as we're all walking off. It's like. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I, I did this out. I was like, Justin, no one up here heard you. We're all freaking the fuck out. Yeah. You know, like, 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 no one heard. We don't. We will, and we'll never know. Cause, like, like, who's who? Who in that eleven people that were up there is ever gonna like? I think I'll find out what he said. We're we're the only ones that'll never know and don't care. I, it, I, it's I, not I, aired. Uh, yeah, I think they're gonna edit them together, and it's, uh, they'll, they'll they'll do like a little shmimmy shmimmy roundup on FXX. Was there was there anybody cool there that you got to meet that you were sort of? I, Molly Shannon was a presenter, and she was right in yes. the front row, and Molly she Shannon. was like, I as I was like coming back from, you do this whole conveyor belt when you if you win one, and then you and then you like at strategic points they open the doors and let you back into your seats, and I was crossing, and Molly Shannon was like. I made eye contact with her, and she was really sweet and nice. Great. And um, uh, uh, I, I, if you're, I think you're asking what I'm answering, which is like, hey, did you have any encounters with famous people that you? Just the ones you like. Just uh, like if there were any moments where you're like, holy shit, I was talking to our George R. R. Martin. I mean, I saw, you know, like they did this big Star Trek thing, so LeVar Burton's up there, oh, and I'm shit. like, I'm gonna fucking mad dog him and tell you, you know, like I'm gonna make eye contact with this guy because I was like right in the wings, I was coming back to the thing, and like, I was like, and I just looked at LeVar Burton and waited for him to look at me as I walked past. I was like, he's not like he didn't look. And I, well, I, he's I, blind, I, isn't he? Did he have his? Right, he's blind. He, he blind. didn't have his thing on. But I thought it'd be so funny, like how amazing it was. It, it was a low risk, high yield thing because I was like, I'm gonna totally mad dog Levar Burton, Why? and on the off chance that he like looks and see, because he peripherally like experiences like this, like who's staring at me, and then like like what if he had like while he's on stage, gone gone like hey, and and then like, <laughs> like I, I I I did I had this fantasy in my head of like, and then people would be like, what the fuck's going on over there, like who gets, why is Levar Burton like crouching down and hugging somebody. Who's that? Oh, that guy's got an Emmy. That's Dan Harmon. What, what, what mountains can't he climb? <laughs> He's already got an Emmy. Why is he like, well, why is LeVar Burton? Was it like, Jesus, I gotta look this guy up. Oh, oh he's a pedophile. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I didn't know uh, that. God damn it. Can we you were <laughs> on such a great run, <laughs> and you just can you ex- fucked it up. Can you explain what is the LeVar Burton thing? Oh, well, he, 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 was, he was at your podium for it was a while oh. ago. Jeff was, Jeff was on an extended like tour, and we were on the road. I, and I, we did like a fun like string of, uh, of guest controllers, Gilbert Gottfried and... Uh, there was some, there was some really fun, like, and LeVar Burton was one Holy of them. Holy shit. Yeah. It was great. I mean. So even with he, the. I hadn't, I wasn't married to Aaron McGathy yet. And he was like, I, in that podcast, he's like, I will, I'm coming to your wedding. I, I think wow. we're just shit faced and like. So you feel, you still feel a little shy to go over to LeVar Burton? Well, I'm, you know, he never came to my wedding. So I, uh, so I, so I, so then I'm like, all right, is he, are we beefing? <laughs> If we are, like, what if he Googled me after that night? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm coming to your wedding. Google. Oh. Now I can see through my visor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's trouble. Who would, who, would, who would you want to have a, as a guest comptroller if you had any? Brandon Johnson. 
Like, Thanks. what do you mean by default? I like, mean, if I, no, 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 no. I, like, if I, like, if I was, that, but if I'm I was saying, gonna, if I was about you, to uh, die, you, you were saying like we had a great, sweet, ooh, ooh, too, too sweet, like <laughs> run of all these fabulous people on my show, <laughs> comp trolling. It was just so sweet. I don't really know if amazing. that was the line reading. It was, it was a lot. <laughs> what well, well, you, you just you made it sound like it was Lavar Burton. Yeah, he was I'm, hosting the show. I understand crazy. that. I'm, I'm saying. Do you? <laughs> yeah. He did reading Rainbow. Why do you have a, a lantern like an old like train conductor? It's not even lit. It's out of batteries. It's out of batteries. It's out. Okay, great. Yeah. That's why you have it there. That's why I have it there to charge. <laughs> All right, lay down a beat. Oh, shit. Yo. Rhythm to the plate. Rhythm has a fate, a destiny of time gone by. I fucked your mama in her eye. What? Didn't mean to, bro. I fuck a rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, that's the spectrum, all the colors come in, rainbow strips of brothers got red talking over orange saying, yo, Orange is like, what? But we try to get along. Recognize her the same color all along. Cause red can't be red unless it's really dark orange. <laughs> and orange eventually has to accept that it's kind of a form of red. That's why it's called the spectrum. <laughs> I think, I assume, I don't know. There's probably actually a definitive delineation between those colors that uh, is super important scientifically. But you better prove it. Okay. Oh, five fingers of death. Yo. <laughs> Yo. I ate a f- sandwich today. And this is how it went. Tell him about your sandwich! I ate so many sandwiches today. I had to install an extra air vent. Ho 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 ho. I got that tempo that lets you rap good. That lets you think about things that rhyme like wood. Doesn't matter what you do, I could do my taxes while I sit and think. Well, that's probably gonna rhyme with axes. Yeah, I'm a slow rapper, thinking of the words that'll rhyme later. All right. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to sp- you know, give people a segment. You yeah, had to yeah. spit it just a little bit. The things that I, uh, I don't- New money. New money. Like, we, you know, the, our, the, the definition of our new relationship is, like, whatever I do for you guys, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not that I resent doing it for you, but it is a favor. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's not, it's just, it's just a slight, and look, if it's a deal breaker, I understand. It would be a deal breaker for me, too. I don't need you. <laughs> Can you love someone that doesn't need you? Was your relationship reliant on my insecurity? I, I'm, I will remain insecure until the day I die. Like, I'm going to, my, my EKG or whatever that beepy thing is that shows that you're dying, like, EKG. it's going to go beep, and I'm going to go, oh, God, I fucked up. I fucked up so bad. I fucked up everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so insecure. I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to go straight to hell because it's going to be just the sum of all of the tightness that I had and all of the resistance I had to everyone's love, and I'm just going to, like, forever spiral into this crazy, like, like self-created projection of torture. 
Um, so don't worry about me getting punished uh, or, be, or, or being humbled or figuring out that I did something wrong. I, 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 I'm sorry that I, when I uh, say something wrong, uh, instead of saying it to three people, I say it to 300,000 people, and that therefore then there's a headline that says, Dan Armand says something wrong, and that then when I feel bad about it, I go, hey, I feel bad about that, and then it says, Dan Armand feels bad about that thing. Like, I can understand how you as a person would be like, hmm, I think I'll examine who Dan Harmon is. Oh, he said that. That's fucked up. What, are you sorry about it? <laughs> well, that should end that. What, he said another thing? Well, now he's sorry about that. Where's this going? <laughs> Life is where it's going. Life, I'm alive. Yeah. I'm yeah. alive, I'm dying. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to die in front of you. That's the bad, there's nothing's gonna change okay. if that's what you wanna change. All I'm right. not gonna turn into a cockroach. Okay. All I'm right. not gonna slowly turn into a mummy. Yep. And I, I, I mean, I am, I am. But, but I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, watch me become Sting. Like, he had a publicist. I, 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 I don't, I, 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 it doesn't work the way you think it works if right. you're waiting for, for me to stop being a bad person. I, that, it's like waiting for rain to taste like mint. It's just, it's a great wish, and I back you up on it, and it's not gonna happen, and it's your fault for waiting for it. I just, I know I'm late to the party, but this British baking show is fucking great. Have you seen the latest season with Noel Fielding? It's really good. I sat down, episode one, and watched it all the way through into the end, and on my, it, and I, I kept eating toast. That's the one thing, is like, you're talking about like advertising, like they don't advertise on Netflix, but if they would clean up if they had like bread commercials. Because I was eating toast all day long. I was toasting, <laughs> I was toasting toast, which is weird. You should say toasting bread into toast. But this, okay. What anyway, is it called? What's the British Baking Show? It's just called British Baking. It's called the Great British, great, British Bake Off. Great, say again. British Bake Off. Yeah. Does Does that suck, Eye Patch Nihilist? <laughs> <laughs> is that so bad? Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that that I noticed right away because I I haven't watched. A lot of reality television, but the most most of the reality television I've watched is American reality TV. And the thing about the the Great British Bake Off show is that everybody's so nice to each other. They're helping each other out. They're just like going, "Oh, you dropped your thing. Let me here. Let me. You can use my fork or whatever. You like. You want to use my oven? They're all helping each other out. And even like the critiques is like, hmm, it's a little." A little upsided, isn't it? You know, it's just—it's not like what is this garbage. It's like it's very positive, and I and I and I think, I think that show would make you happy. Mm. <laughs> I like the story about that woman accosting you at a. Oh, you that, would have been in. You said you said this will make you feel better, and I forgot to tell you. Like by the way, that did, it did fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I, that was insane. Yeah, I've been wanting to tell you for a while because I knew it would make you so happy. And I think, I don't think you understand how angry and short I was with this woman who was, in her mind, trying to save my life. And I'm like going, I don't need that. Go back, get away from me. I was being very angry and curt. Short. <laughs> I, I just got endlessly fascinated with these cosmetic issues. That's like, like we, like a man starts to lose his hair, me, and then I, I go like, okay, I'm losing it, but it's like, like there's lines between the clinical and the cosmetic, and the every day we wake up and we go through routines and things where we go, well, my who I am is not gonna work, and I don't even mean I'm not going all like, you know. Uh, punk rock on you and going like, oh, d why do we wear makeup at all? I just, I mean, like, even people who don't wear makeup, like, you look in the mirror and you you have this, like, moment where you're like, uh, if there's an eyebrow that's, like, shooting out of my head, maybe I would clip it with scissors. Like, no matter how low maintenance you think you are, like, you, you're, and it's like, 
what I, when you it's like you get a bald spot that starts to grow in your head and it's like i it, it, it's it's all just like it's the weirdest thing. It's a, it's this Fox thing that you. I never see unless there's like I get a haircut and then they show me the mirror thing and then I I have this like I go oh god what's yeah is there something I can do about that? But I don't even understand no. why, I'm, why I'm thinking that. <laughs> like Cody doesn't express anything. Like oh boy, can you do something? <laughs> she's she's more aware than I am. She's seeing in the back of my head along with the rest of everybody like more than I am. But, like. And then you just think, like, okay, so every day with the tweezing and the everything, like, we just kind of, like, like we're, we're like, oh, God. That is like, I, I, I don't know. Sorry. It's new. It's a crazy thing. Cause it's not new. <laughs> it's old, but, I, yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm new to it, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause it's I, crazy. Yeah, so yeah, sad. yeah, yeah, yeah. So my bald friend, sad. like, I can't talk oh. about my relationship with baldness in front of my bald friend. Yeah. I know. I get it. Yeah. Didn't start losing your hair. You can't give so me a bald pass. 45. That must have really interfered with your dating life. You really probably didn't. It's not dating life. I have, I have a girl I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. I'm just like, it's about the, I don't understand why we have feelings about our scalps. Like, it doesn't. It scares us to know, think maybe that's what's going on inside, too, a little bit. I think it scares <laughs> us to, to go, well, it's, we're, we're falling apart. We're decaying yeah. in front yeah. of the mirror. Like that's what, what if you, happened. But, but, but what if your culture said that when you can start to see a man's scalp, that that <laughs> was called solar the, panel the hardening or something? Machine. You know, like you could like you, a cu <laughs> culture could easily like look at the fucked up periscopes we create for everything. Like, what does that mean? You know, it's like we, but we're like, oh shit, time is passing. Yeah. that's what that means. It means yeah. you're not 25 for sure. Like, like it, no matter how much you've been passing. Or 22. Yes, <laughs> god damn it. You can't, I can't talk about this around you. No. I get it. No, you can't. You're just like a guy that's playing Uno and you have all reverse cards. Like, I don't. I know. Oh, damn. It's still a topic I'm allowed to ha have in my head just I because say, someone's balder. I I, that doesn't I mean I can't say, talk about I it. I didn't say you should stop talking about this. I should, I should, I should, I should, I should, I should pay the through. ghost. Pay the ghost. You should. To put it in Nicolas Cage terms. Pay the, pay the ghost. ghost. The pay classic the... Nicolas Cage movie, Pay the Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me you haven't seen Pay That's, the Ghost? I haven't seen <laughs> Pay the Ghost. <laughs> Oh my God! With Andre Brower. No, he said something. He said something. He said, "Pay the ghost. Pay the ghost. Pay the ghost." Uh, yeah, pay the ghost. It's one of the eight Nicolas Cage movies. Nicolas Cage in a Box uh, is a service that can come to your job. You can. The 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 only way to keep up with all of the movies Nicolas Cage does every day. In a cage. It's uh, the Nick Cage. It's the Nick Cage. It comes the, in a hand. It, it comes to you in a box. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> it comes with a separate package of bees that you activate them with. And you put them with. What's that? What's that? What is that? Did you know that they edited the, they edited the bees out of the Wicker Man in the regular cut, like the vanilla cut that you get on Apple TV? Because Cody hadn't seen it. I'm like you got, we got to watch Wicker Man, and uh, no fucking bees. What, so they went to the screening and people were like, holy shit. Right. Oh no, not the bees dot fucking hashtag dot com dot org dot italics. <laughs> holy fucking trending shit. Oh no, not the bees. And they're like, God damn it, they're making fun of our movie. That's the only reason why it's not it's not Citizen Kane. We gotta take well, we'll show them, we'll just take that out. Thanks for uh, telling us how to get stronger, you rubes. Now we're the best movie ever. Don't uh, come on. Don't take the no, not the bees out. That's that's bullshit. Same same thing with the Battlefield Earth. I was about to say a lot of shit, man. There was a lot of Shrab and I saw that movie in the theater. Mm. It was us in the front row and a lot of party in the back. Strange. <laughs> A strangely identical group of people in white polo shirts on the back that were they weren't in white polo shirts. They yeah. were they they were like dressed like civilians, but it yeah. was like half a lot the movie of applause like, over those uh, opening credits. Do you realize what's happening? We're the only three people in this movie, and the back two rows are the Church of Scientology yeah. who oh, have yeah. been assigned yeah. to come see this movie. And they're like, because they, we picked up on it after a while, because like like John Travolta would say something and we'd laugh. The three of us are. <laughs> And then, and the, the, no silence in the back. And then, and then John Travolta would say something 
then they'd laugh. And we're like, well, that was, but. That wasn't funny. Yeah, they that was his character laugh. making a yeah. joke. I agree with that, but <laughs> right. oh, oh, yeah. got it. All right. Yeah. Well, when it, when it when it's based on the book by L. Ron Hubbard, and they were all applauding in the back, we were yeah. like, "Oh boy!" But it but and and then in that movie, they were like, there was so much more. It was there was a bunch of crazy shit. They, and I, we I, we we watched it, and we were telling everybody about it because there were no hashtags back then. We were just like going. We just, you had to you did you had to go and hashtag each person yeah. back then. <laughs> yeah. You had to say hashtag Paul, hashtag Mary, hashtag uh, Sebastian. You had to like every person single person you had to just text them and be like hey here's a thing i'd like you to be talking about <laughs> what is uh, that's the hashtag <laughs> God damn it. And we were, I did, yeah, but they were like, see, yeah, and, and then they, like, uh, I, didn't say, I, said I bought I it on DVD and then the scenes appear. were gone. So yeah, same with the bees. You can only see the bees. What was the, the scene? What did, what did Travolta say? <sighs> he, 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 he was like, you said you, you wouldn't make it appear. <laughs> and, and it did appear, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. Nah, I can't remember. I don't want to. I. I. I it, don't, it won't work. Were the Scientologists just enjoying the film, or was their job to make the film seem better reacted to as an audience than it actually was? I don't think they thought it through past like, <laughs> let's just make sure there's always at least two rows of Scientology people. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Yeah, and so they it didn't just anticipate like, that's an empty amazing. theater and then two rows of people because, yeah. but then they didn't, see, so they didn't have like a, a their flow chart stopped there. Like, like they, they, it wasn't like, if you're the only two rows, right. don't, maybe leave. Don't, yeah, don't right. laugh at every joke because it'll seem weird mm. to everyone but you. Like, also, please don't sneak out of the Church of Scientology in this movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, don't take this opportunity just because it's a we dark room doesn't mean exits. you can go out any door you want. You will, right. re you will report back to your bus and uh, into your cryo chamber. Um, <laughs> the uh, bees were an important part of the Wicker Man. That's it. That's all I want to say. Because <laughs> the best part of the bees thing is when he goes, wait, what's that? He goes, what is that? <laughs> what's that buzzing? And I sent Cody the clip. I'm like, this is what you miss. This is what I made you watch the entire Wicker Man because this was supposed to be in there and it didn't happen. Here it is. I sent her the YouTube Did link. Did she, like, after the, after the credits were like, Wicker man, wicker man, wicker man. It's Christmas. <laughs> in Yo, don't call it a chair. It's not something you rock in. I've got a thread to the twigs and the spiral and in. I've got a, a rabbit culture that's a paganistic. And then Cody was like, I don't understand why you thought it was such a bad movie. It was really cool. Yeah, she really dug it. I was like, I was like well, you got to see this bee scene. It's so fucked up. Um, yeah, I guess if you would add that, that would be a silly movie. But that movie that you watched, the edited, the vanilla version you called it, was great. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was I good. sent her to the scene. She said, "Do you think? Do you think uh, we didn't see it because we were fooling around or something like that?" And I, I thought she, I thought it was an autocorrect typo. And I said, "Do you?" <laughs> Are you asking if <laughs> Nicolas Cage was just trying to make the crew laugh? <laughs> or are you asking uh, if, if they were just, like, in the edit, were just having a good time? Oh, you mean, did we start fucking? I, I thought, like, like why it, it, you, it wasn't a typo. You're texting her? Well, like, she's, I, she's sitting next to you? Well, it was later. It was the next day, because I sent her the clip. I was like, by the way, that movie is what you missed. So the movie ended, and you just ran to bed and went to sleep. You didn't like go. This is the thing. I said. I said. This is no the bees. thing. Wait, we're here for the bees. Your bees. Well, movie's over. With goodbye. <laughs> if you, I'll if text you, you the video. I'll text you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sleep. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm sleeping. I don't want to see the bees. I'm I can't. I'm. I'm asleep. <laughs> I'll race it to tomorrow. <laughs> I got there first. If you were listening to the story, the, the subtext there was that yeah, the, yeah, we did, we, there was at the, the movie, we didn't make it to the end. We were, because uh, of, my, uh, cause of my, my active love life. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> nice. So you, you, you watched, you didn't watch until the end of the movie looking at you. 
He was yeah. burning to death, and I was probably good like, look. I was probably doing a really good job of like fucking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, I was like, Oh where, God, did, did do we have to hear about, about no, how know. good you eat pussy I again? So good. Do we have to sit through another nine-hour dissertation? You wouldn't on believe how good. Dan Harmon eats pussy. I've been hearing this story since you were 19. Oh, I got a small dick, but I eat pussy so fucking good. Mm. Rob Schwab, ladies and gentlemen. I have no complaints, oh, Worth man. every penny. Why they come, they, they keep coming because I eat so much fucking good pussy. I'm not going to feel bad about having a small dick. On top but of you everything eat else. Pussy so well, I, good. I'm sorry you picked up on the fact that I. Uh, I picked up. Yeah. You're reminding everybody every five fucking seconds. If a guy. If a, if uh, a, I ate he, pussy good again. Dan uses the story I circle. I guess, what did you do Labor Day? Well, I ate pussy good. <laughs> that's uh, not that's true. Not that's not true. In laws. <laughs> no, that's not Kate. true. The only thing that's true oh, about that is that I'm transparent again. about not having a, 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 I'm not a shower. No, or, or a grower, a frankly. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, you could wait all night. Like, it's not grow. It'll grow, and then you're like, really? Okay. I, so, I, 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 but the caveat is, I eat the pussy. But I know, so I, know, I, know, I, know, I know. I don't. Like, you go home and look it up. I don't look do it up that. on the wiki. I I never, I, it'll tell you I ate pussy good. <laughs> I don't know what else anyone would expect me to be good at, <laughs> given my situation. But I, and and so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like I'm terrible at eating pussy. I don't know, all right. That's but fair. You know. I don't brag about it. Yes, you I'm do. probably great at it. I gotta be great at it. <laughs> oh my god! See, this is how you I get must it. be. My dick is so small. Like I, I must be amazing. Like look at the women that have stayed with me for more than a year. Like they, they're they gotta fact. be getting something. Like, <laughs> like uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, it, it, and of course whenever I ask, they always say it's great. So who would do that? Oh, I just heard an oh. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. That was my joke. It was good. <laughs> I'm well aware that if someone asked you, did I eat your pussy good? You would probably say yes, whether he See, did or didn't. Job. The, the secret is that you spell <laughs> the uh, alphabet. <laughs> she got the joke. <laughs> I mean, if a motherfucker bakes a, a pie and it takes like 18 ingredients and they burn it, you're still going to be like, this is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a beat. Ba -na 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 -na. Talk, talk yeah. about this pussy. Eating this We're going to trade pussy. off, though, right, for the closing number? Yeah. Right. This old is, school. Oh, oh, we're old school? Shit. Yeah. All right. Ha ha ha! Let's uh. <laughs> I'll do the I'll do the sound the sound sample. Oh, I love to eat the pussy. It's it's like an old forgotten Motown song. Yeah, seriously. Oh, I love to eat the pussy. She's stopping over. I'm ah, going to eat that ah, pussy like a ah, trash can, the home to Grover. Ah, That's what that, that sounds pussy. like. Ah, Grover eating pussy. You ah, finna rock the pussy like, like you was rocking Stussy. I'm passing ah, it to you. Let's do it old style like, like we used to do. Pussy, yo. First you take your tongue and then you run it up and down like a marathon Eat run, son. Pussy. I'm gonna go the distance up to the clitoristus. I'm gonna make Eat it come like listening to this. I'm putting my tongue inside and rubbing it around like my name Eat was Rawhide. Pussy. I know, it's, there's no language that's gonna Eat go good with this. Pussy? If you're waiting for descriptions of pussy eating to become somehow <laughs> attractive. Pussy? <laughs> you're too uh, reactive to the fact, the fundamental fact that talking about it like it's a competition makes it bad. Uh, but anyways, where was I? I, I licked your mama's pussy so hard I got a fuzzy eye. Uh, I tried looking inside like a periscope because she opened her mouth wide. And so I saw an enemy sub, Red October, coming around. I said, rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, because I was in the bathtub with your mama eating her out. Oh, shit. Here comes uh, Commander Clout. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, Raw deal. Uh, I'm going to eat that It's a pussy, pussy like a meal. I licked it down with your poop. I love to eat the fuck. <laughs> 
my favorite food group. I drop a mic, but I don't drop a verse. Almost died to get a fucking hearse. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Harmontown. We out there eating that pussy. Rob Schraub, Spencer Crittenden, Nolan Fabrica sitting in for the lovely Steve Levy. LaShana Talva, Happy New Year. Zach McKeever, Chris Borb, Sarah Hill. Thank you so much from the downtown Dynasty Theater. We love you, Jeff Davis. We miss you so much. I've been Brandon Johnson. Good night. Two-time Emmy winner, ladies and gentlemen. Get any of that? It's a good show.